What's up, everybody? It's uh, Slayer, and um, I'm gonna be showing you some um, gl tips, glitches, and tricks you can play on Singularity multiplayer. Um, I'm playing this on the computer since I can record it, but all these have been found on the Xbox version. I do not know how many of these are on the PS3 version, but we're gonna see if these are even gonna work on the computer version. If they do, I'll upload the video. Okay, and. Um, don't let the rank one fool you. I'm, I'm a little 40 on the Xbox, so yeah. Nobody plays the computer version anymore. That's what I find. So, but I'm going to pull in a uh, helper in here eventually. So probably show you some things. Really cool things you can play on Two and Singularity. I want to do a tips and tricks video for the classes eventually, and that might help some people learn the game more. Okay, so all of these require a uh, blister. I'm going to use a spike shot to show, you know, point. And I'm going to use fast recharge in case I mess up. We don't care about this guy because we already know all of this. Okay. Okay, the first glitch is right here. We're going to see if this even works. And it does. Basically, you jump up and you teleport into the box and now you are in a little, small little hiding spot and you can use in a pinch if you're, you know, being chased. Um, I don't know if you can teleport through here or not. Usually you can't. You teleport out of this by just coming back out of the box. And I'll show it to you again. Basically what I do is I jump and I teleport right down into the box. And that's a little nice hiding spot for, um, you know, it's being pursued or something like that. Uh, I don't know if you can be damaged if you're in there and a radiant blast hits you or any other area of effective uh, um, attack. But I know that for any direct melee attacks or anything like that, you, you're not going to get hit or touched. Okay. Um... That's about it I know for glitches and tips and tricks on this map, at least for the humans, the soldiers. I know that if you're a creature, you can get up to there with the uh, revert, and uh, I can't, as a blitzer, I can't get up there. So I'll show you something else real quick. There's a few other little spots you can go to. It is possible to get up here on top of this. It's easier on the Xbox, it makes it easier and better on the Xbox, but... And here you have nice coverage of the beacon. And then, this one you can only do if you're a host or you have excellent ping. You can get on top of the beacon and renew it while it's gone. And if you're not host, you will slide off. But if you are host, you can just be on here and renew it and, uh... Creatures don't really see you that easily when you're up there. They don't expect you to be up there, so... But it, it, it's, it's a dangerous thing because y you can be uh, easily taken out by like, a, a radiant or a, a barrel blast. So it's, it's a risky thing if they, if they actually do see you because you're wide out in the open. I don't know if I'm echoing or not. Oh. Okay. Um, there's nothing really by way of glitches in here, just little, um, quick run points, you know, areas you can do to get a small, a slight speed boost. You can jump up to here, and then jump up into here, um, I've used that before, and then you're at the beacon already. I don't really use that, mainly because I, I like to go, uh, second respawn hunting, like, I, I rush, I'm an excellent rush. Um, so I usually go for second respawn. Get that up. And then here's a really not very well known spot at all. You can jump down here and teleport right down into here. And now you're down in the beacon area. They don't see you. And uh, as far as they're concerned, you're still... They're, they're checking out second, re second respawn to see who... Uh, come in that direction and you can just come behind and repair right here. Um, a nice little spot I found 
is up here. It's a little tricky to get up here, but which can you have some really nice coverage of the respawn. Uh, you can hit anything that's coming over here. So I, I when I first used this, you know, I was taking a radio and I was coming over there. Uh, I kept really good coverage on the uh, the beacon while my teammates uh, repaired it. Pretty pretty good. Um, I haven't really um, used it enough to see all the disadvantages to using it. And if I can, doesn't look like it. I was wondering if this is somewhere back here we can get to, but it doesn't look like because that's a creature spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and repair this. I keep thinking E Q. And, uh, I assume you can get up here. Yeah, you can get up here. You can also use this. Um, your view of the beacon is kind of limited, but you're really effective at taking out anything down here. Especially if you just drop down and teleport. And just get an instant telefrag. Telefrag's always fun to have. Okay, this one is pretty, pretty nice. Um, areas for uh, some really nice teleportation tricks like moving through here and uh, here's one that we used to use a lot in uh, CVS Creatures of Soldiers on this map um, or anyone who wants to give uh, support to their allies down fighting through uh, that area as you jump up here you sort of want to aim for this area jump teleport or maybe it might be this area. I forget which. It's a little it's a little tricky to get up here. We we've always had problems with it. But when you do, you have a nice view of uh the ramp. You have a nice view of um the stairway. And uh it's a little tricky to hit you when you're up here. Um you can catch any barrels, easily see any barrels coming for you. And uh the only thing that's really effective is uh reaver uh radion blasts. Or uh, an odd tick that comes up uh, on a blind spot, and then that that radiant has to be pretty accurate with a shot too in order for that to work. Um, prepare this so I can show you my next little trick. This one is great for um, for trapping anyone, any creatures coming for your uh, respawn. Just head up on here, boom, boom, boom. It, it works really well if you have a spike shot because you can just trap the trap the respawn like that, and uh, that area of effect will seriously hurt or if not outright kill anything coming for you there, coming forward there. And then afterwards, you just repair the beak, uh, repair the respawn, and you get an extra ten points right there right off the bat. Now this is a little um, uh, little rush deck I use. I can show you how I use it. Pretty much what I do is when I, when I uh, get on this map, first thing is I teleport through here, I run down this ramp, I don't go all the way down the ramp, instead I just go right down here. That that usually trips up any pursuers, any creatures, they don't know where I went because not very, very many people know about this area. I can shoot up past this thing if I didn't have a, a spike shot. Yeah. See, I, I can shoot past here, um, so I can hit any uh, creatures attacking from there. Same thing with up here, and you're already right here at the beacon. Now, I'm not going to repair this because there is at least one last thing I'm going to show you guys, and this thing is... I was showing this the other day. This thing is amazing. Okay. Now, you know, we all know we can't get into the creature spawn. If I jump up and teleport, I'm blocked. Jump up, teleport, I'm blocked. Or I can't even get up there. However, this thing. If I can get, you can teleport, and it, it takes a little bit. And I don't know if you can do it on the, uh, the Xbox. You can do it on the PS3 and the, uh, the Xbox versions. Oh, you can stand on that, so I assume you'll be able to. Yep. Okay. I, if I teleport here, I will not be able to get in there. But instead, 
I can just jump and walk right on in. And uh, creatures spawn right here. Um, both, I believe, um, Radeon spawn on the other side. The, the occasional Radeon will spawn on this side. Um, you cannot get past here, you cannot walk past here, but you can teleport, and you can drop down here at any moment. Um, you cannot get on the other side, but you can get on this side, and you can just hide right here. This works regardless of if you're host or not. It, it's, it's pretty amazing. It, it's the, one of the easiest ways of getting into, uh, uh creature spawn. And, uh, that's a serious bug that probably needs to be fixed. So, that's all I know for this, uh, this map. Um, I'll make an individual video for every map. Um, and then I'll probably make some more videos for various little tips, tricks, something a bit different, like, uh, rush tactics. Right now it's just spawn, uh, spawn glitches, glitches, um, hack, not really hack, exploits, that kind of stuff, um, for this video, these series of videos, and just anything else I think to mention along the way. Now, uh, before I end this, ah, way to be late. Okay. Now, before I end this, I'm gonna show you um, that one last area with the uh, the reaver. Um, play with the reaver, or I, I probably even knew it's the radian. I have to check. Um, I'll check myself later on if I can get up here. If I can get up here, then that'll be amazing. Um, basically, the idea is because reaver's very slow. little beatbox in there. Now, I can get over here, and it's, it's kind of difficult. I, I, I never, I haven't actually done it yet. I saw my friend do it. Basically, you jump up here. I have to... You can get up there. And you can jump up in there. Um, I might be able to do it better with the uh, Radeon. So this might take a bit. But. It's a pretty effective tactic. Because uh, blisters can't get up there. You can shoot up there. But. Yeah. See. It, it, it takes a little bit. I'm going to see what I can do with the Radeon. If not then. Whatever. But. Um, yeah. Yeah. Blizzards can't get up there. Um, you, there's a little spot you can hide behind um, in a pinch. No, oh, I didn't kill me. That was weird. There's no melee attack, apparently. Apparently, it's hard to kill myself. Okay, now let's quickly change my class. Innovate fast recharge, good. See, much faster. And I might have to do a good on most, but. I'm close to doing it. So yeah, that, that leads me to think that you might be able to. Yep, see, I can get back here. Um, you can't really hide back here. But, <clears throat> Blitzers can't get up here. If I was a Reaver, I can hide behind here, or Tick, or a Zek. I can hide behind here and uh, sort of be covered. Um, can't really do that with the Radeon, but I can easily shoot down here. And do some major damage. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything for um, Origin Labs. Um, <clears throat> there's probably a few more things that I'm missing. Um, I'll probably make some more videos as I find stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll make some videos for some nice uh, points you can actually attack from um, more than just glitches. So for now, this is Slayer, and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.